All right, we'll call the meeting to order with the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for coming, everyone. Roll call, Mr. Lumberg. Home. Yes. Odie. Saxer's absent. Scott? Yes. Bell is absent. All right. With that, I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion. All those opposed? Motion passes. Um, conflict of interest disclosure waiver requests. There are none tonight, and I do not believe there's any community input tonight. That takes us to our financial items, <coughs> bills and claims. Mr. Lumberg. Just some mop-up items uh, at the end of June. Try to get less than the amount of payables that we have in July. 869000 of that 811000 is just transferring the food service credit card sales into their appropriate fund. And there was another $10,000 of pay vouchers. Came in June. And then four or five food service bills. If there are no questions on the bills and claims, I would entertain a motion to approve those as presented. So move. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, general business, uh, administration report, Superintendent Larson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just a few items to update the board on here uh, this evening. Uh, continue to monitor the Navigator CO2 pipeline uh, business. They are gearing up for... Uh, some of their initial uh, proceedings um, in terms of that. So we'll continue to monitor that respective process. Uh, Want to wanna let everyone know that we will be receiving um, an update to the Brandon Valley School District Central Office website. Uh, we anticipate that happening. Uh, the new look website to be rolled out tomorrow. Uh, we're trying to do that prior to the bus pass purchase and all those various things to get any kinks worked out of that website that we need to. But certainly want to extend a special uh, thank you to our technology staff. Um, I know that they've uh, completely built it in-house, so they're doing, a, they're doing a phenomenal job of giving us that upgrade. It will resemble the look of what our buildings have been upgraded to. So um, that, uh, that has been a, a long process and certainly one where we're very appreciative of our technology staff and their extra efforts on that front. Uh, in July, you'll receive uh, the public uh, budget hearing and then ultimately potentially take uh, action on the FY24 uh, budget. Continue with our summer reading program. would encourage everybody to get involved in that. We appreciate Siouxland Library and Pizza Ranch, both of those uh, respective entities uh, support that program and our students' uh, participation in the summer reading program. So special thank you to them. Uh, this upcoming school year, we're looking at this for our bus pass purchase and ridership uh, notification timeline. July 5th, the bus passes uh, ultimately go for sale, go out for sale and or ridership can, notification can be provided to the uh, uh, Transportation Department on July 5th. Families have until July 28th to get their uh, passes purchased or uh, notify the Transportation Department that they are going to be riding because they live far enough away from the schools where they're provided transportation. Um, and if you do not buy your bus pass or inform the Transportation Department um, of ridership, then the earliest you can ride would be October 2nd. Um, so it's important to, uh, to know that, and it's also important to let the board know that we will uh, blanket the school district with communications in a wide variety of ways, uh, communicating this via marquee boards, phone calls, emails, newspaper, et cetera. So um, we'll really ramp up those communications here over the course of the next four weeks or so. Uh, the academic school calendar has been out now since January. Um, would just again note that August 25th is our or August 23rd is our first day for all kids grades 1 through 12. Our kindergartners start on Friday the 25th, and our early childhood kiddos start on Monday, August 28th. So um, that, uh, that calendar is available on the district website as well. Uh, so Eastside Elementary School construction update. Uh, no real change to the timeline that's previously been discussed. Uh, looking at bidding November or December with construction beginning in the spring of 2024. 
under construction the entirety of the 24-25 school year and then ultimately open for the fall of 2025. Uh, at this time, we anticipate no additional tax burden on patrons as we are funding that project through capital outlay certificates. Uh, high school addition update, want to provide um, an update on regarding a few respective items. Uh, Area A has been walked through. Area B, uh, we will walk through tomorrow following our construction meeting. Area C and the corridors will be walked through for punch list items on July 11th, and then all of the remaining punch list items and warranty work will be completed uh, there in the month of July. Uh, and ultimately, we'll have furniture delivery and installation starting in mid-July, and we've got a plan for uh, that. I would also anticipate um, in the middle of July, our tech crew is really getting in and starting to hang the, um, the smart TVs and all of those respective items as well. And then, of course, it is critically important to note that we have the science room and the restroom renovation, which we're going to call Area D. Uh, those renovations are going to be ongoing until up to August 15th. So um, we'll, have, uh, we'll certainly have action here um, through that point. Uh, no change to the priorities, obviously, and just a couple of images for you. Uh, so this is area C. This is, a, the, this is what they call an eyebrow. So that will receive the red tin that you see, um, that you see respectively on like uh, the entrances. I can give you, when we look at the, this picture here, this is the, um, the architect's rendering. You can see these here. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about the red eyebrows. Uh, on that respective building. So that's what, uh, that's ultimately what that steel stud framing is out there on the front of Area C. Uh, again, another shot of uh, exterior Area C. You can see that they're starting to, to backfill um, next to the sidewalks, etc. cetera. Uh, exterior site work continues. The uh, concrete crews are um, on site and pouring uh, curb, gutter, and sidewalk, and then we would anticipate asphalt here um, in the, uh, the near future as well. There's a shot of the site work, so ultimately I wanted to just give you an idea. Um, this is an island that comes out with the required lighting. This is, will be parking here along what is the east side of uh, this curb and gutter, very likely staff parking, and then ultimately uh, the bus lane will also be there running uh, from the north to the south. Like I said, uh, backfill uh, in progress as well. Uh, this is the area A and B entrance. Just mostly wanted to give you a shot of what that exterior red uh, is going to look like so you can get an idea of what those respective eyebrows uh, will also add for color to the facility. Uh, area A corridor, this is a shot of the Area A corridor. They're getting that ultimately cleaned up and ready for flooring. I would remind you that this is the hallway that will receive the sports flooring uh, that is multi-use so that the, your uh, runners can run indoors on a softer surface, not suffering from skin, uh, shin splints, etc. So that, uh, that corridor receives that special flooring. Uh, area classrooms, the final cleaning has been completed. Uh, area B classrooms, the final cleaning is in progress. So um, we we'll just note that uh, that is in the works. Uh, this is the area B and C vestibule. So uh, this is where the temporary construction wall was at. Um, so when school got out on June 1st, that temp wall went down and there is every trade needs to tie up ends in these respective locations. So that's why they're um, out to uh, July 11th in terms of um, walkthrough punch list items. Uh, area C restrooms. Uh, I was up there today and this restroom is actually completely tiled out. So they continue to, uh, continue to make progress and um, it, this one is actually completely tiled out. Here's one that was previously tiled out. Again, Area C restroom. Uh, area C classroom. So at this point in time in Area C, uh, all of our classrooms have ceiling grid that has been dropped in and casework. 
Um, now, ultimately, it's a matter of the cleanup and getting uh, flooring going and um, finalizing those respective classrooms as well. Another shot of an Area C classroom. Another shot of an Area C classroom. Okay, this is Area D. So this is our science lab renovation. Um, ultimately, interior demo has been completely done and now they're in the process of um, reconstruction. This is area D in a restroom that's being renovated. Uh, they actually put the masonry wall in today. So if you walk down and looked at that respective space, uh, you wouldn't be able to see in there they have the masonry wall. But these were the um, old out-of-date restrooms that were not in um, ADA compliance uh, and ultimately did not have the ability to fit um, two, two respective stalls and have ADA compliance, et cetera. So we elected to make these single uh, use family style restrooms, the same type of restroom that you would see in our common spaces. So it's ultimately um, family style restroom. Uh, Madam Chair, at this point in time, that is all I have for you this evening. Let's we'll certainly entertain any questions that you have. Any questions? I have one. Um, in front of the school, I know we have the marquee that says Brandon Valley. Are we putting a sign that says Brandon Valley High School on the building at all? That's my question. I will have to check the plan specifically to tell you if they called for any signage on the exterior of our building on the east side. Yes. I, I'm, I'm hesitant to answer because I will, I will be wrong. Yes, and I am not certain, so I will have to check. We never have signage in the contract, so if we're going to do it, it would be done ourselves uh, on, that, on that thing. And I don't think they're going to do it because they always get confused about the entrance and, you know, what is the front entrance and what's the... And so they want to keep it on that west side. Over here. Yeah. Just curious. Okay, thank you. Anything else? All right. Thank you very much, Superintendent Larson. Uh, no board policy tonight takes us to our general business items. I would entertain a motion to approve general business items number one through 12. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. I would entertain a motion to approve items number one through nine under personnel, please. So moved. Second. There's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion or those opposed, motion passes, thank you. Transfer information only, Ten items 10 through 13 there. Under communication, there are a couple thank you notes there for your review, and that takes us to our board reports. Does anyone have a formal board report that they would like to discuss tonight at all? No, quiet group, hearing none. Um, that takes us to the end of our scheduled agenda. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Okay. It's been a first and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you.